All right, guys, we've got a couple more things in here. Uh, just the past couple days. And we'll start with the dual port manometer head. It's the one I've had my eye on for a while. Uh, this is not one I ever, uh, I don't believe I ever did get this one before. I don't think so, anyways. Anyways, and I looked at a couple of these used, and I don't know. I couldn't get a used one for like less than 90, I think, anyways. And they were kind of questionable. And this one's all nice and new, and it was only like, uh, so 90 was about the lowest I could go on the, on the reasonably used one. And this was like 120, so for the extra 30 bucks, I just went, went ahead and got a new one. So it comes with the, uh, a good amount of this um, you know, kind of vinyl, rubber vinyl as, uh, or a kind of that kind of squishy vinyl tubing, I guess. I don't know how to describe it. There's a proper word for it, I'm sure, but that's like pretty soft. Um, I believe they gave you the adapters in there. So I have to go ahead and open it. I think it comes with the the size adapters, the quarter inch to five sixteenths or whatever. Yes. Sweet Toshiba batteries. I got a couple little tools in here. Oh, nice. They give you the trimming screwdriver. Very nice. Cool, let's look at that old accessory pack a little further. And then it comes with the standard, uh, that is, uh, eighth inch pipe thread barbs for gas manifolds and stuff like that. So dual port manometer, so you can check static pressure or just gas pressure with it or whatever, and pressure differential across stuff. So pretty useful. Um, yeah, not something I'm gonna need every day, but I I want to have it when I need it. So um, yeah, let's just check that out more. Might do might do a separate video on that, or definitely do a video the first time I get to use it. All the literature and stuff, and I got the uh, static pressure probes to go along with that too. Are pretty sweet. They're like a magnetic base. I'll give you the arrow to uh, show you which direction the tips in there while you got it in, in the ductwork or whatever. So, be keeping that with that kit, of course. Uh, don't know if you guys have ever seen these. Pretty simple little tool, uh, but great for the Romex or non metallic cable, whatever you want to call it. Various non metallic cables. You slide it through there and it slits it, and then uh, you can clip clip the shield back and actually even strip it with this and you got wire and bending loops yeah it's a, for uh, it's pretty simple whoever came up with this is pretty smart it's just a you know, piece of plastic with a couple blades in it but it, uh, it was nice and light and it does does a lot for its size so I had one of these before and lost it or got stolen or something like that so got that one back uh, this thing is pretty cool I'll almost certainly be doing a separate video on that I think this has been out for a while the super cool slide rule. Um, I have a slide rule. You uh, probably saw me using it in the video the other day that uh, helps. You know, will help you figure out the 410A or R22 superheat and subcooling. And that one does this as well. Uh, probably with a similar method. Method, but then it has a bunch of other helpful things on there. Uh, on the inside, I believe it has the duct sizing chart and stuff like that. There's quite a bit of quite a bit of stuff in here actually. So. Um, again, I'm going to look over at that, uh, ductulator was something I was planning on getting, but then I, uh, I was kind of reminded of this, actually. I remember seeing this when it first came out, and I guess I thought I didn't, didn't think of needing it at the time. It was probably more than I understood at the time anyway, so probably more I understand now, but there you have it. And last but definitely not least is the Yellow Jacket Superheat Calculation Kit. This is one, I, a tool I definitely also had. Uh, used it a couple times and got stolen. Nice, nice shiny little box. You know, I'm sure the, the thief was extra happy about that. Um, so this is a uh, this is basically the the valve core removal tool, a little ball valve, and then the two um, the two accessories, the thread the broken core extractor and the thread chaser, and then also a superheat thermometer which allows you to get a very accurate temperature reading by actually going into the vapor or gas, um, vapor or liquid stream in the refrigeration system. So, 
again, not something you necessarily need all the time, but if you're uh, for something that's critically charged or whatever, then you uh, want to be as accurate as humanly possible. This is the, the way to get it. Again, not something I'm going to need all the time, but I, I want to have it in my arsenal. I had it before, and there's no reason not to have it now. So. Uh, as it turns out, I already have the ball valve and the two other tools. Well, the only thing I really bought this for was the thermometer, and I probably could have gotten that another way, and I did look it up. I know I could get it, get it another way, but uh, I found this was new old stock, and this is obviously like it's someone's truck for a while or something like that. It's got some some schmegma on it, but uh, it's all right. It's all brand new inside, so um, I found a good price on it on eBay is my point. And again, it was one of those situations where for about 15 bucks more than I could get just the thermometer for, I found the whole kit. So, yeah. Keep your eyes peeled for good deals. And then this uh, this case is just a really nice thing, too. Again, the uh, um, plastic hinge, uh, that always sucks, but it's a, it's a nice, it's this nice, sturdy little case. Look at that. Look at that mirror sticker, boy. That shiny. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, anyways, like I said, I already got these two guys, so I'm probably just... I can't see needing more than one set of them, really. So, I'm going to just probably list those. Resell them. Probably get uh, close to 50 bucks for them, actually, I think. If that's right. Um, somewhere between 30 and 50, I think, would be a good sale price for that. I'll check the... Uh, because they're expensive. They, I think they're like 30 bucks each if you go to buy them uh, from the supply house or whatever. Nice shiny new valve core removal tool. That never hurt anyone. I don't necessarily need another one, but I don't not need another one. Those always come in handy. And then a nice little thermometer. A little indexable head here and everything. It's a pretty trick. So... That'll be that. I'll try to get a video using it someday. Look at that case. Oh, glorious. That glorious phone. Super nice. Me like it. Hey guys, just another quick up uh, addition to the tool bag here. Uh, as you can see, it's a ratcheting service wrench. Um, the one I carry in my, uh, just in my tool bucket, my the yellow jacket one I have is actually a, actually a vintage one. I got it from my stepdad. I don't know how old it is, but you can tell from the, uh, the scribing on there and stuff like that. It's uh, definitely it has like the old uh, font or whatever. So uh, this is one I bought because I just uh, reacquired that CPS uh, mini split toolkit. So I figured it would be of me to have a have a, a, a ratchet wrench just dedicated for being in there because that would be one of the things that uh, you know, it, come, it came with hex keys so you wouldn't be stranded under any circumstances but uh, it's always nice to have this and uh, not have to try to spin the, especially the, one of those folding bundles of hex keys you know so uh, this one's not quite as slick as the yellow jacket um, you know this, uh, the yellow jacket has like the just a square bit on one end and then the stepped like the smaller and then the bigger uh, this one just smaller on one side bigger on on the other um, but no big deal um, I think the offset design is gonna be better I mean overall uh, there's never a circumstance where it wouldn't work as good as the straight one and uh, circumstances would work even better so um, this one was a lot more affordable than the yellow jacket one uh, they always sell the the service wrench and the bit separately and it ends up being like almost 40 bucks I think so this is about 15 bucks so um, maybe not a nice quality but it looks pretty good to me so they said this one's gonna go in the CPS mini split tool bag um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do a review on that one or a, a, you know an update video or whatever because I, I did uh, years ago when I got it and the kit hasn't really changed uh, the only thing that was different is I, I decided to get the uh, the one with the metric um, uh, metric sizes on the the torque wrench the uh, crow's foot wrenches or whatever uh, because most mini splits seem to have them metric um, fittings so 
So that's the only difference there. So if you want to check out the CPS mini split toolkit, um, look on my channel. Uh, I'll see if I can post a link here. Um, but yeah, that's a, uh, like I said, that I did a complete review of it at that time and it has, hasn't changed really. So, um, yeah, thanks for checking it out guys. We'll see how this one works out. Let's see how that works out.